Hey guys, let's talk about U-Change locks. Uh, I talked about these quite some time ago. I disassembled one. Several people on uh, YouTube have already done that. And I've got three of them here that I picked up from my locksmith. You know, these really aren't... Uh, they really aren't very secure locks. They're very easy to pick. These are keyed differently, but they're only five pins. And if you recall from the disassembly uh, video, they're really... Let me move this just a little so you can see. Uh, they look like alien technology inside. They're only five pins and really pretty easy to pick. If I can do it real quick, of course the camera's running, so no telling what's going to happen here. Probably get a total failure. There we go. Usually pick it faster than that, but uh, there you go. But that's not what this is about. We know these are crap locks. And you know what? These are not used on people's houses. These are used on businesses. And what made me decide to make this video is uh, this is on a uh, this lock is used on a very large electronic store chain here. I live in Northern Virginia in the United States, and I don't think the owners or at least the managers realize just how vulnerable these are. Not just to picking, because uh, criminals really aren't good at picking. What they are good at though is bypassing. Now, I have just been perusing not too long ago with Peterson's catalog, and he has this really cool tool. Let me get this lock out of the way real quick. It comes in this tube. You don't need that. And inside of there, of course, the instructions. We won't need those. What we really need is the stuff that's inside of the inner tube. And there we go. We got three items that we have uh, need to be interested in, only two of which really apply. This is a normal change tool. Those are pretty readily available. This is just a change key. It comes usually uh, with the U-Change for people who are servicing the locks. Nothing spectacular about that. What is spectacular though is this little tool here. This is uh, Peterson's bypass tool. See little knobs on there and how does it work and how fast does it work? Well, let's get our lock back. If we can't get it centered here. In order to use this, you just take any uh, blank key, or you can take, you can even make this out of, uh, out of a shim, and just shove it in there. And your objective is just to raise the pins to the maximum height. And then you take this little jewel, and you stick it in the slot that's so conveniently located here on the front. It helps you identify these type of locks. You slide it in, and then you rotate it to 6 o'clock. And once you get it there, you just remove your blank key or your shim or whatever you have, and there you go. There's only one step left, and that's to take a, a screwdriver or any other tool, and you can simply rotate this lock. We've got it open. We've effectively bypassed this thing, so tell me how secure that is. And then what we do is after we've broken into the electronic store and we've stolen everything that we want, we've loaded up our truck, we then take that same blank we shove it back into the lock. We rotate the tool and pull it back out. Take our shim out. And now they never know we're there. You know what else? We didn't change the bidding on this key. The original manager's key or the store key will still work and he will never know what happened. He'll just come to, come, uh, to work and the store will be empty because these are really crappy locks, gentlemen. And if you see anybody with these on their front door, any business or apartment building that's using these, you might want to let them know that these now are available on the Internet and these are incredibly easy to bypass and it will leave no forensic evidence. No way you'll ever know that anybody broke into your store. Anyway, I've wasted enough of your time. Everybody stay safe. And in spite of tools like this being available on the Internet, gentlemen, please stay legal.